Welcome back, curious minds, to a fascinating exploration of how our mind alters the universe. We embark on a journey to unravel the mind-bending connection between consciousness and the fundamental fabric of reality. Quantum mechanics. The realm of the infinitesimally small has long perplexed scientists and philosophers alike. The dual nature of particles existing in multiple states simultaneously challenges our classical understanding of the universe. But what if there's more to this enigma than meets the eye? What role does the human mind play in shaping these quantum realities? Can the power of human intent truly alter the course of quantum events? In this video we'll delve into studies that hint at the possibility that focused thoughts and intentions may influence the outcomes of quantum experiments. Observer Effect The idea that the act of observation influences the behavior of particles. This principle suggests that our very awareness has a direct impact on the quantum world. As we delve deeper, we'll explore the groundbreaking experiments that support the notion that consciousness is not a passive bystander but an active participant in shaping reality. Consider the intriguing notion that the universe hinges on your very existence. While the conventional Newtonian worldview places humans within a distinct physical realm, governed by laws such as gravity and thermodynamics, portraying the universe as a separate autonomous entity, the advent of quantum physics challenges this perspective. This paradigm shift, though a recent addition to scientific discourse, resonates with age-old spiritual teachings. Hermes Trismegistus, a majestic sage from antiquity, imparted the wisdom, As above, so below. As below, so above. This ancient insight suggests our world is akin to a holographic matrix, a reflective surface mirroring the consciousness cast upon it. Quantum physics aligns with this timeless wisdom, Proposing that reality may not be a standalone construct but shaped by the observer's consciousness. In this realm of thought, where quantum physics entertains the concept of a multiverse and infinite timelines, your perception might wield significant influence over the manifestation of reality. Neville Goddard, in his exploration of thinking fourth dimensionally posits that the fourth dimension serves as the wellspring for our three-dimensional existence harboring an infinite array of life possibilities reminiscent of infinite world lines. Echoing the sentiment, Dr. Joe Dispenza, within the realm of quantum physics illuminates the presence of an expansive field teeming with potential outcomes for our lives. An infinite quantum field also known as the All, resonating with the ancient teachings of Hermes Trismegistus, as described in The Cavalier. This realm houses every conceivable life outcome, transcending the linear constraints of time. This raises a pivotal question. What determines the specific timeline we experience? Neville Goddard aptly asserts, assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled and observe the route that your attention follows. Time confined to our three-dimensional reality loses its grip in this context. Dr. Joe Dispenza emphasizes that our thoughts directly influence our overall health linking our well-being to these higher dimensions where every potential reality is already in existence, unfettered by the linear constraints of time as we perceive it. In the confines of your current existence, you navigate a specific and limited life tethered to a particular timeline. What guides this trajectory amid the myriad possibilities within the fourth dimension? This inquiry marks the gradual erosion of the traditional Newtonian model paving the way for a shift toward a unified consciousness. The quantum field responds to consciousness, dynamically shaped by thoughts, emotions, and your overall state of being. Essentially, the reality or timeline you encounter manifests in accordance with the state of being. Thoughts and emotions you embody. Your self-perception acts as a reflection mirrored back by the universe. Just as a mirror cannot reflect a smile without one first being offered, the universe responds to your input. The reflection is entirely contingent on your engagement. When you emanate positivity, the mirror reflects a smiling face. Analogously, the all-encompassing entity, be it God, the source or the quantum field resonates with your inner state. As envisioned by the all, the purpose of creation is to traverse through endless and unique experiences, extending to the bounds of infinity. This omnipresent force respects your freedom of choice, deeming it integral to the enjoyment of life's diverse adventures. 
A proponent of this profound idea, Neville Goddard articulates that every individual is free to craft their world as they desire. Understanding that the entire cosmos responds to your unique consciousness fuels the expansion of the all, ensuring that the power to choose is ever-present. Smiling into the infinite mirror initiates a response, albeit with a delay inherent in our three-dimensional linear world. Events must unfold sequentially to reflect the change. Nevertheless, the mirror must ultimately display what you project. In the fourth dimension, this projection is already a reality. Persistence in your self-conception commands the mirror to conform, devoid of its own volition. The mirror safeguards the authenticity of the all's experience, seeking to comprehend what it means to be you in the present moment. This understanding would be compromised if it imposed its will. The infinite willingly embraces limitations to authentically experience your existence, relying on you and your current state as a focal point for its experiential choices. In essence, you and the all are unified, yet in this world, a veil of forgetfulness is draped over us to create a truly authentic experience. Envision willingly subjecting yourself to a form of self-induced amnesia for the sake of playing a virtual reality game, seeking the most authentic experience possible. In this immersive game, each hit feels remarkably real, as if the events are genuinely unfolding. Yet the awareness that it's merely a game diminishes the fear for your virtual life. Acknowledging that your true self remains secure, this analogy elucidates why life occasionally appears harsh and unforgiving, prompting questions about how a higher power could permit such experiences. The answer lies in recognizing that this higher power isn't an external entity imposing these experiences upon us. Instead, we shape our own reality through our application of the law of being often in ways that are less than ideal. Our actions in front of life's mirror directly influence the reflections cast back at us. If our behavior is erratic, the mirror mirrors a chaotic image. Simultaneously, it cannot portray us as successful in content. The mirror echoes the essence of our actions and state of being. The pursuit of freedom frequently encounters the challenge of feeling constrained or limited by one's circumstances. This struggle can serve as a catalyst for a deeper understanding of the self and the world. Influenced by the teachings of Neville Goddard and similar thinkers, they posit that life's obstacles and trials may not solely result from an external selectively benevolent deity. Instead, they suggest that these challenges are reflections of one's inner state and consciousness. The metaphor of a mirror is particularly fitting in this context. The image in a mirror directly reflects what is presented before it. Standing before the mirror with a mindset of entrapment and limitation yields a reflection of stagnation and confinement. However, a shift in perspective, embracing the concepts of freedom and boundless possibilities can dramatically alter this reflection. In response to this changed outlook, the world begins to unveil opportunities and joys that seemed invisible before this transformation. An echo of the narrative in Russell Conwell's Acres of Diamond, where a man overlooks the wealth in his own land, chasing fortunes elsewhere only to discover later that what he sought was always within his reach. This dynamic is eloquently encapsulated in the empowering words of William Ernest Henley in his poem Invictus. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. These lines eloquently articulate the profound influence of individual will and perception in shaping one's life experience. When one consciously adopts an attitude of abundance and fulfillment even before it manifests in reality, a subtle yet powerful alignment occurs in the universe or the quantum field. As consciousness shifts, external circumstances also undergo a transformation. Moreover, this concept goes beyond mere positive thinking. It delves into the exploration of the deeper layers of being and the immense power of the subconscious mind. The subconscious akin to fertile ground accepts the seeds of thought planted within it and nurtures them into reality. This principle is central to many spiritual and philosophical teachings that posit external reality as a direct reflection of internal thoughts, beliefs, and emotions. In this way, 
The external world functions not only as a mirror reflecting the current state of being but also as a canvas on which the possibilities of what could be are continuously painted based on the internal dialogue and beliefs held within. All aspects of existence are profoundly interconnected in this interplay between internal and external realms to manifest one's desires. Whether it be freedom, joy, or fulfillment, one must turn inward to understand and reshape one's inner world as we conclude our journey into the mesmerizing world of quantum realities. We invite you to ponder the profound implications of the interconnected dance between your mind and the universe. The mysteries of quantum mechanics continue to beckon us, challenging our perceptions and expanding the boundaries of what we thought possible. Thank you for joining us on this mind-bending voyage. If you found this exploration intriguing, don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. How has this journey into quantum realities altered your perspective on consciousness and the universe? Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Take care and see you soon.